here we are with another Grim Tales, the podcast. Oh, yes. I am going to start off with saying this. I, tr- <laughs> Tell I, me. I had I had some issues, mm. not the issues that you would. I think people are going to. This is actually this. This movie actually proved something for all our viewers here that I don't hate everything. OK. Uh, and well, the reason I, I say I, that. Go ahead. Uh huh. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say that I actually enjoyed this movie. I am going to pick it apart. There are some things that, eh, but it was a fairly good fucking I movie. I appreciated it. Yeah. I appreciated yeah. this movie. Although I'm going to tell you right now, I, I won't talk about it right at the moment, but a lot of people didn't. Oh, no, a lot of people. Terrible. A lot of people. Here's yeah. the thing, and we'll get into this later on. Uh, this yeah. is this is where a lot, I, I, we've gotten messages about, oh, my God, you guys think everything is woke. Here's the crazy part. Mm-hmm. I've read all the I've read all the articles online. Everybody's like, "Oh my god, it's a woke piece of shit." Blah 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 blah. No, it mm-hmm. wasn't that fucking bad. Sure, yeah. it did have some things that were obviously put I in place because of it the was times. acceptable. But yeah, it was it acceptable. Was, it was yeah. con- considering all it, it, there was there was a sprinkle of wokeness in it, but not enough to make the movie not, not to, enjoyable not to ruin this movie which yeah. leads me to like why did it do so terrible in the box office we'll, we'll talk about that as well i know exactly but, why it did bad in the office well about box office yeah, we'll, we'll Actually, well, no, but that's the thing. That. But the reason why it did so bad was because of people like rotten tomatoes ign and all those other motherfuckers yeah good because good. they didn't pay enough yeah that's what it was <laughs> And then, you know, yeah. there's people out there who take those fucking things to heart and they're like, well, Rotten Tomatoes says it's a horrible movie, so I'm not going to go watch it. Because, it. Yeah. you know, Rotten yeah. Tomatoes knows exactly what you want to watch. It's just like us here. We don't we don't do for this show. We don't sit here and say, OK, guys, we know what you want to see. What it is, is you're going to watch our episodes and you're going to go, oh, I like VC Lauren has similar tastes in me. So if he says something right. good, maybe I like it. Same thing with right. me. But. That's about it. We don't sit there and say, "Oh, we don't like this movie, so fuck so it. Don't go watch don't it. Don't go watch it. Yeah, like, yeah. Take our opinion. Try it out for yourself. Yeah, yeah. If you want to take yeah. the risk of it, not you, you can either trust our judgment or you can not. You know, maybe it's really that yeah. easy. That's it. But before we get into all that, before we even get into the name of the movie, I will go over this. You are watching the Grim Tales podcast, our weekly, every Friday horror intake. Uh, episode where we dive deep spoiler heavy by the way spoiler heavy so if you have not seen the movie turn back now pause it right here go watch watch the movie and then and then and then come back which it's rentable it is rentable so go rent a motherfucker okay yep um but that, if that's if that's where you're at, go rent it. Stop. Don't don't because I don't want to hear nobody in the chat go. Oh, oh, he ruined the movie. You ruined for me. it. Your you're warning. Well, we okay, you. stop right now. Yeah. Okay, this is your warning. Going forward, there will be heavy spoilers in this episode. But this is the Grim Tales podcast. This is where we're going to talk. We're talking the uh, the last voyage of the Demeter. This is actually one yeah. that I was looking forward to. Me too. Me too. Since I saw the uh, previews for it a couple yeah. months back, this is like yeah. this was uh, September. September, I think, yeah. uh, uh, when I seen the trailers for it. When we started seeing the, the trailers. Yeah. yeah. Um, I believe it came. I, I don't know if it came out it, late it September. Came out, it came out last year, uh, like towards the end of the year. Like Was before, it September uh, or was it October? Or something? Was it early October it was or October, late? October, early. Early yeah, October that's before what I Halloween. Thought. Yeah, because it was. Yeah. yeah, it was before Halloween. Um, but fucking uh, that's what we're doing. We're doing. I, I was looking forward to this one. And now, ironically, this wasn't even one of my picks. So I'm, I'm crazy yeah um, it big one here, but i tell you, i enjoyed it no I no i did I, I definitely absolutely I, did i love vampire not, things, so not too many noticeable names in this movie but i think they all did a wonderful job with um, the acting to one one noticeable one yeah uh noticeable the captain name. the captain was uh right i knew his voice sounded familiar he's uh the, he's a guy from uh game of thrones Right, that's what I'm about. He's the he's the he's the boat captain. He's the one that was like working close with um, uh, 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 Khaleesi and shit towards the end of the season, a uh, series. Okay. He was okay. he was like her hand, like, or not okay. her hand, but he. I don't know. There's a bunch of shit. Like, oh, he, I think I know. Yeah, yeah. He was the one that had the girl, the little girl with the fucked up face and shit. Right, and he had her killed or whatever too, as well. Yeah. Well, the she, king, she the, the king, face. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the yeah. king, the king that he he. He worked he for followed, him. Yeah, had him, had her him killed. Killer, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Or some shit. I can't remember. It's been it's been a while. I don't, it's been I a don't while. know. Yeah. But regardless, that was him. Um and he was he was good in the movie. Uh everybody, regardless, did did a good job in the movie. I don't I don't have any really too many uh gripes I, about that. I, I like I love the scenery, the dark feel of the movie. Oh, yeah. Um the fucking scene with the kid actually tucked in my heart. The kid looked a lot like my son Kevin. So that was fucked up for me. Which it was, which uh, part? Weird. The, where, where the kid was first killed, then oh, then, then the then uh, came back cap, and... captain was captain was you know mourning him and everything heavily and everything. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, I yeah. get it. No, I get it. Yep. Um, but on before we get into any of that, before we get into that again, uh, you go to our website noblegi.com. Check it out. Merch store. It's there. Get yourself some merch. Helps goes a long way. Um, make sure to check out our full catalog of episodes of everything that we do on the network, past, present, and future. Um, get our go check out the schedule. You can see all our drop shows, all our ups, upcoming shows, so forth and so on, whatever it may be. Uh, it's all yeah. there. Everything you need to know is all on noblegi.com. Also, make sure to check us out on all our socials. Follow wherever you need to. YouTube, like, follow, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Stay up to date with all things noble. Okay? Read the word. But with that said, let's get into the last voyage of the Demeter. Um, I will say I was actually surprised that this was a DreamWorks film. Oh, yeah? Why? A DreamWorks isn't really known for this type of movie. Not mm-hmm. lately. Not okay. in a while. I mean, these are the same motherfuckers yeah. that make minions and shit. They do. They do, yeah. So it's like it's not so, it's not it, necessarily like I've seen DreamWorks and I'm like, oh, I wonder how this is gonna land up. Like I was like I was kinda sketchy yeah. at first. I was like, What? DreamWorks? Yeah, I didn't know I didn't notice that. maybe I just I don't look at the studios too much as much as you do, but um I enjoyed it. I really did. I you know, I I wish we had more of Dracula himself. Not a lot of facial shots. Wanted more. You know what was you uh you got well, to see a full body shot of him, though. Well, so like here's that. the thing: yeah. by the end, by the end, you really get to see him. Um, you do. I do. A pre- here's the thing: I, 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 I'm not mad about it, right? And this is the reason why: mm-hmm. if they would have made the kills and shit um, where you didn't get to see them, then then yeah, I would have been mad. But every kill that yeah. happened that he did, you, you saw, you seen, you saw, except for one, now, and I'm grateful not... for it. Wait, uh, oh, the kid. Yeah. No, not the kid. Yeah. Fuck the kid. You <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> The dog. Well, that too, yeah. They didn't show the dog. They didn't show the dog. And show I, the I, dog. Cause dude, when they when he was walking towards the dog, I'm like, you motherfuckers, don't do it. Don't it's you gonna fucking one of do movies. it. It's gonna be one of these <laughs> movies that I never watch again. Fucking hell. Don't you fucking do it. And then they cut away. Ooh. And that's like the first time in a while that yeah. I was like happy for it. it. Yeah. I was happy they didn't show it because I was like, that I don't like to see dogs get got. That makes me that, that I got the like, people. I don't give a fuck, but man, dogs. I can't do that. I can't do any animal. I can't. I can't. I can't see animals die. I don't. I don't do it. Yeah, I, I did a well, good job in not showing either. So I like that. Yeah, no, I was good. Um, the kid. I was surprised that the kid got I got the way he ex- did. I did expect him to get got. Yep. I not not even no no. Got. I knew he was going to get got. Oh, did I, you? I, yeah, I, I, had a, I was pretty sure he was going to get got. It. But I didn't actually think there. I yo, we've talked about this on the show where people don't have the balls if they're gonna put kids in a horror movie and they don't they, they, they don't actually do anything. They don't show it. This motherfucker mm-hmm. tore him up like he fucking ripped his throat out yeah. and shit. I'm like, damn. Yeah, yeah. Bravo, DreamWorks. Bravo. <laughs> like you killed a kid in this fucking in the movie. Like goddamn. <laughs> Step up from Dominions. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, holy shit. All right, fucking. We're, we're this is this is where we're at. This is the type of movie we're having here. Okay. Um, yeah, no. but yeah, I, I wasn't, I did notice that. Yeah. I was like, oh man, it's going to be okay. I was, I was, I didn't know. I, I, I struggled with this movie, not because it was a bad mm-hmm. movie. I struggled with my inner, into it, my, my inner wantings. Like I wanted to, I wanted I... to be like so many other people and be like, oh, well that's woke. I'm going to, I'm going to shit on this movie, but I, I'm being <laughs> fair with like the wokeness. Yeah, sure. There was a little bit of sprinkles of wokeness there yeah, and it will be getting of, a score. Yeah. Yeah, but, but it wasn't a Regis. No, it wasn't boss a Regis. Boss woman a little bit, you know, boss woman a little bit. But that's to be expected, 2023. I mean, but here's the thing. If she re- would have woke up, here's the thing. If she would have woke up and automatically been a, a badass, I'd have been like, yeah, okay, it's because exactly. she's a vampire, right? Yeah, uh, exactly. But, she but was, then she, she was, was like, the she, movies, she was so. sick and she was fragile and she was just fucking, she was, uh, and then all of a sudden and she's then, fucking course, kicking and doors her with shit. The yeah. Yeah, and yeah. I'm like, eh. Yeah. Uh, the only thing, my only gripe with the movie is that 
Dracula really didn't bring nothing new to the table, and that's that's the only gripe. I it, it was your tech, it was your typical chase and kill type move, and I wanted a little Which, more than that. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. I actually didn't. Okay, this here to me was mm-hmm. a good monster flick. Was it a good Dracula it, it tale? Eh, debatable. And it's right. a, and that's another thing. I think that's why the movie didn't do well. For some reason, vampire movies aren't doing too well. Yeah, because they time. don't sparkle. And let's say, and let's say, sparkle or yeah. glitter or whatever you want to call unless it. You yeah. put, unless you put a fucking, uh, uh, I was about they, to they gotta be, they gotta be pretty boys and pretty, pretty boys, girls, yeah. you know. Yeah. If they're not that, they're not fucking doing well. But, but I mean, no, I love this. Uh, here, you know what? You know what? You actually, and and this this one's mentioned a lot when in the research of doing this, and I'm actually surprised. Now, mind you. Uh, the one movie I'm about to mention doesn't this this has more in relation to Bram Stoker's Dracula than it does yeah, everything original. else. Yep. Um, right. but they also compared this to Dracula Untold, which is another Dracula movie that did not do so well, but I actually enjoyed. I don't think I don't know if I saw that or not. <laughs> okay, all right, good, all right, noted. Yeah. Yeah. No, Dracula Untold. <laughs> it's like it's a weird one. Dracula Untold is like a weird one because it takes a different like instead of vampire like all right, even the original Bram Stoker's Dracula, he was a monster, but he also mm-hmm. could be seductive, right? Which I'm completely yeah. fine with as long as he's not a pretty boy. Vampires are supposed to be both seductive and monsters. They right? do, mm-hmm. yeah. But they there are times where you have like your uh, your Nosferatu's where there is no seductive vampire; they're monsters. Period. They're, they're monsters, yeah. And that's what this movie was. He, what there is nothing yeah. pretty about it. He's a he's a monster. He's a monster he was vampire. He's a gray looking, bat face looking yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. And that's kind of how Dracula Untold was in a way. Was they depicted vampires as being savage, carnivorous mo- creatures instead right. of just being it, seductive. It, it woke up to do nothing but feed. Yeah. And, and that's, that's kind exactly of what, what he did. But the the thing about Dracula yeah. Untold is though, and, and we'll, we'll maybe we'll do it on the show. But the thing about Dracula Untold was Dracula Untold. It, it it tells the story of it it, it, gives, it gives you it tells you the story of Vlad the Impaler because the, the idea is Dracula was Vlad the Impaler. Mm-hmm. Um, they tell that story that's not yeah. really been told very often, and a lot of people didn't like that. They're like, I don't care how he became Dracula. They just want him to be Dracula. And that's what Dracula Untold is. Well, it's the tale of how he became Dracula. Yeah. You know, and the, the, it, I always wondered how Dracula ended up in London because he started in Bulgaria, somewhere in Russia. And it, it's just a story that links that together. Well, and that's how we get all these London. Well, it's Bulgaria in the movie. Well, no, yeah, I know. But I'm saying like... The, I, the, guess, I guess Transylvania is in Bulgaria. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like the, yeah. the, the, the where... The, Dracula's castles, from what I understand, Dracula, even even Dracula, the, the actual Dracula's castle, right, mm-hmm. the, is, is in Transylvania. So. Yeah, I think that's in, just in Bulgaria somewhere. I'm not 100 sure. I could be wrong. That's uh, I could be wrong. That's an area but, of the world that I'm not as familiar with. But I did like the fact that they let the movie open for a sequel because I think it, 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 it'd be fun to have a second one. See, here's the I thing. I don't think it's going to happen it's because not, of the... Well, no, it, 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 it's not going to happen, and there's the reason why I don't think it's no. going to happen. Because mm-hmm. any, I would, I wouldn't even, not, I wouldn't even make a sequel of this movie, and you know why? It, it kind of left it open, at least uh, to look like it no, there no, could be one. there, there is definitely yeah. a cliffhanger. It, it definitely does yeah. put it off to where the the the, the it, it has been seeded that they could make a sequel. Absolutely, yeah. but I, I would not want to because he, he basically becomes a vampire hunter at that point. Right. You mm-hmm. can't unless you're unless you're going to make your own story. Yeah, Dracula, ne- Dr- you're not Van Helsing. That's who. That's who right. that was. That's who the hunter was. Yeah, yeah, that's the hunter that went after Dracula is Van Helsing. So you're not so, Van Helsing. So it's not a good idea. That would actually that yeah, would piss so me I off. Then why you're they the story even left off with that whole bar scene? I don't know. Yeah, Franchise, I guess. I'm not 100 percent sure. Maybe. Yeah. They could have left that out, and I would. I do. I do like the fact that because okay. This could have had a better ending for this reason. I will tell you this. Mm-hmm. I would have been happy with the classic. In this, in this case, I would have been happy with the classic bad guy wins, everybody dies. Mm-hmm. That would have made sense. Yeah, and, and at least it would have had a conclusion. because The fact that there open. was one survivor 
and now they're gonna now they're gonna chase each other. It just seems like they're trying to recreate the story, and it's just yeah. like I, I don't I don't I don't I I, I don't want a recreation of the Van Helsing story. I don't want that. Right. Like Van Helsing, Van Helsing is Van Helsing. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Now I will say this: I do think that they should make a good Van Helsing movie because they're okay. Don't get me wrong. The Van Helsing movies that they did, the last Van Helsing movies that they did with Hugh Jackman, they were okay. Mm-hmm. But they were action movies more than anything else. Right. And I really would love to see a real, actual Van Helsing tale with Van Helsing fucking hunting down Dracula and you know, like the shit like that. That would be a cool right. tale. That would be a good tale. Um, so I'm I'm okay with that. But whatever they were trying to hint at this, nah. I don't. I don't need yeah. a sequel. It wasn't a bad movie, but I don't need a sequel to it. Let's 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 this. All this movie was was a a a, a, a tell a, a, a live action telling of the captain's log of the original mm-hmm. captain's log in book. the actual yep. Dracula uh, the Bram Stoker's Dracula book. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, and it was well done. I don't, it was. I don't know how this movie didn't do too well. I just I, it fathoms me sometimes how it's because of the critics, dude. Some like, movies critics say they be suck. So and that's good, it. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah, I mean, fuck Rotten Tomatoes, man. Like, yeah, fuck all that shit. But again, okay, IMDb, all of them, man. I, I, you know what? It's not even them too. I will tell you. I, I will say this too. This is actually coming from me, and I'll, I'll call out bullshit all the time, right? Mm-hmm. This movie had a hard time because there was there were a lot of people who the problem with people crying woke, right? We we have a woke meter and we talk about wokeness because we like right. to call wokeness out, but not everything is woke. Right. Yeah, I mean, no, people see, there were people, people see who a were black pissed. guy yeah. in the movie and that's woke. Yeah. No, there was a that's lot of people it's that just... were pissed off at this movie because the black mm-hmm. guy was the only one who lived. So what? Right. Part of the story. I don't feel like and, they pushed that narrative because everybody was heroic in the movie. No, yeah. I, like even the yeah. captain, the captain, yo, the captain tied himself to the fucking yeah, wheel. Yeah, he tied and himself shit. up. He's and like, shit, fuck made you. Himself a fucking, yeah. Yeah. So He's it's going like, down with the boat. Yeah. So it's like, it wasn't mm-hmm. like they made everybody but the guy fucking weak. Everybody played their role and everybody, yo, the fucking, that one guy who fucking, he was like the guy who was telling everybody that there was a demon on board. He was a bad motherfucker. Yeah. Yo, I was rooting yeah, for him. He was. You know, yeah. The only coward was the fucking religious guy who stole which, yeah. the boat. Which actually yeah. I didn't see coming. I actually thought he was going to do something wrong, no, but no, he, he yeah. was a bitch. Yeah. Um. Yep. But no, they made everybody. Everybody served a purpose, so I don't care. He still if, got got though. Oh, he did. Yeah. But I don't care. Like, oh, the survivor was a chick, and a, actually, it wasn't even a chick. It was just the, the and in the in the words of everybody, they were like, oh, I can't believe a black guy was the only survivor. Who cares? He was a good yeah. character. He served his role, I and it think was what it was. Job perfectly, great actor. Yeah, yeah. great it actor. Right. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't. Here's the thing. It wasn't even as egregious. Like, all right, the the, the boss bitch part. It was sprinkled there. Mm-hmm. Yes, it definitely was sprinkled there. But it wasn't as bad because she still got fucked up. She still landed up dying. She wasn't the fucking. Yep. She she didn't go full Rambo. She wasn't the one who fucking killed the Dracula. One uh, one liners and shit, yeah. making herself all yeah. tough and shit. No, we didn't get none. She that, didn't no. kill Dracula because I'm like it almost. I almost hated the movie because I thought that's. What, I she I was almost like, thought that she was going to be the one to kill Dracula. No, yeah. because when she dropped the mass on him and shit, I was like, did she mm-hmm. just kill him? Like I was about yeah. to be mad. I was about to be fucking mad, but it Is didn't that, go that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Um, and now there here's the thing. A, it's not about having a female lead. That's not the problem. I just don't like when you take somebody who starts off as weak, right? That's their character. Mm. And then all of a sudden, they know how to shoot guns and swing from fucking... They know how to do military <laughs> shit. It's like... They did, like swing from vines You're and shit, doing yeah. that. You're doing that for the Up sake of politics. That's what you're doing. Yeah. Um, that I don't like. But if you... Oh, if the character... If, I love me a strong female lead. Yeah. Right, yo, fucking Lara Croft was a boss, all right? I don't fucking give a yeah. fuck. Okay, fucking Horizon Zero Dawn, the character from that is amazing. I could go, I could sit here all day and name them. Yeah. I'm not going to sit there Blood and go Rain, the movie, did a good job, too. Ripley oh, for fucking Alien, she was a bad bitch, all right? Yeah. And they were all good characters. I mean, there's still even modern day ones. There are still good modern day. There's a right way and a wrong way to do it. When you do it, basically, there's movies that we've watched where all the men are fucking stupid, but yet the only one who can save the day is a chick. You're doing that on purpose. Yeah. That's hardcore feminists. Yeah. Hardcore feminists. Okay. And I got some other things to say about another thing, but I won't say anything yet. Okay. Uh, Because that's not on this show. But, yeah. but this, 
this was brought down by a bunch of dickheads on the internet who started crying woke just because they think everything everything that's not white is woke or everything that they don't agree with is woke. It's no different yeah. than the woke side people calling everything they disagree with, calling them Nazis. Yeah. We got to stop doing that shit. We got to stop calling everything that we don't agree with woke. Not everything we disagree with is woke. There is woke yeah. shit, and then there's shit we don't agree with. There's a difference. But that's as if yeah, people blur the lines. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're a white male. You must be a Nazi. Yeah. Simply because you have some sort of uh, leadership role or something. No. No. It, everybody. Like that movie. This movie did everybody's role. I well, thought well. Well, ev everybody was equal. I thought. I thought, and here's the thing. Like, I was actually. The movie. The movie did have a slow pickup. I will give it that. It did, but it. But in my opinion, it was. It was good character pick development. Up, it was good character development. It yeah. wasn't. It wasn't. Boring pickup. It had its purpose. Like, I actually, I, I gave a shit about characters. That's important Absolutely. to me. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. This yeah. movie wasn't perfect in character development. Uh, it, it could have definitely been done better. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, but it was good. Like, I actually cared really about the characters. There wasn't much to develop. It was a captain who obviously been doing this for a long time. And people that he picked out of uh, just randomly. Well, no, the they, they, the 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 actual people on the boat um, were most people that sailed with them, except for the new guy. But well, because he saved he the child, guy. yeah, exactly. He got, he got the privilege to go, yeah, exactly. So everybody knew everybody, but it's like you 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 felt the tension. You felt like yeah. like like I I I was mad when the dog died. You know, yeah, there was a there was. A I was scene actually where they kind actually... of upset. I was like, damn, you killed off the kid, right? I don't usually care about that, yeah. but I was like, damn, killed off the yeah. kid. Holy shit. Yeah, and actually they did a good job with the racial tension, too. There yeah. was a little bit of that, yeah. But you're telling a story. Again. You're saying a yep. story that was in the 18, late 1800s. There was a lot of racism. Yeah, it makes it makes sense to have racial tension. Right? Slavery was gone, but racism was not. No. Racism oh. was very apparent. Like, no. Like, they, you, you still couldn't get high. I mean, shit, dude. Racism. No, even he, he couldn't be a doctor. Remember, yeah. that was that's what he was. He, he was went to school. He went to school yeah. and actually had the license, it. but he couldn't practice it. Yep. Like, I mean, so they were telling the story. And, you know, that, here's the thing. I that always say. The time. Yeah. And they, you know, even with the chick, right? She wasn't a full boss bitch because they were talking about how she was sold in. Like, they, 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 her, her, her village chose yeah, her, her all the time. Her village chose her yeah, to feed like, the, the, yeah. the vampire all the time. Like, they always That's chose. She was there. a sacrifice. All that other shit. It's like, yeah, absolutely. And on top of that, they were like, oh, women aren't supposed to be on the boat. That was a real yep. thing. Women were not allowed on the they boat. They said they were bad luck or yeah. whatever. Yeah, it was a bad omen. Yeah, exactly. That was real mm -hmm. shit. So I appreciated that. Yes, like I said, there was a sprinkle, a sprinkle of some wokeness in there. Sure, maybe they did that to see if they could get into the awards because you know that's the new law now in 2024. <laughs> yeah. that you you yeah. have to have certain diversity to have it in there. So maybe that's why they did it. Maybe that's the reason why. Any, this one had a good chance. Had a black leader, black lead role, which everything. Which, again, so. which I don't care. Like, that part doesn't even bother sure. me. Like, yeah. the the guy, it made sense. What you did, I didn't feel like they did that because they were trying to be politically correct. I felt like it, I, I it, think, it, for, I it think served to their... I think you mentioned or we believe that it was somewhat part of the book. Anyway. I, I don't want to say it was or it wasn't because I don't know 100%. Um, mm -hmm. So I won't quote that. But... I will say that even if it wasn't, whether it was or wasn't, it, it was, was it, still it served, unwell. It served the story's purpose. Yeah, I I've always said on these shows, I don't like when people do things for political reasons that have no reason. Like, like for example, we did that one movie during the holidays where all of a sudden she was like the dumbest character in the whole movie, <laughs> and all of a sudden she pulled out all yeah, the boom. weapons in one day, and she was fucking Big boss, yeah, learn to do the whole yeah, karate, karate and, and, and shooting automatic weapons and all sorts of stupid shit. Yeah, yeah, in one day. You didn't do that yeah. because it served the fucking story. You did that because it was politically correct. I don't like right. that. I don't like that. I, I, it, that pisses me off. So this movie, I don't feel like it did that. It sprinkled it in there a little bit, I guess. To you know, whatever. You're 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 appeasing the audience. Either, I was going to say either it's just to a piece of left or right. It doesn't. It was just whatever. There. But it but it wasn't. Yeah. It did a not of break it. the film. It did no. not break the film. I thought the film was very well done. Um... The story wasn't anything to like write home about. That, that's what I was saying earlier. It was just a chase and kill type yeah. movie, but it, it was it was done well. But it was fun. It yeah, was an it entertaining was, was movie, and I enjoyed watching it. I think what made the movie for me was just the time it was placed in. You know that whole 
1890 I have it. Uh, something. I have it here. It was uh, 1891, I think it was, but that whole. Hold on, I actually have that information here. I want to. I, I just, sure. I love the 1800s 1897. look. 1897. 1897. Okay, yeah. yeah. Just love that rusted look, that old look. And Two it was, boats, it carriages, was, everything. It was, uh, the, 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 they were sailing from Verna, Bulgaria of the mm -hmm. black, yeah. black on the black sea to england but yeah. that's where they took so, off uh, now it started bulgaria yeah yeah that's what i mentioned but, earlier, Transylva but transylvania is up there yeah. they, they, that's not where the castle yeah. was the castle yeah. is is transylvania the tra the castle's yeah. always been transylvania so uh, maybe it's, it's just in that country i don't know well they didn't really mention that they didn't even mention didn't. which no. i guess at that point you don't really need to and now though. here and dracula himself right put himself in this uh container right that like he planned this whole thing or he, did the village people put him no 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 this was this was dracula's doing because himself, there wasn't because yeah, yeah. he had he there wasn't nobody he, left to sacrifice he ate everybody yeah, yeah he ate everybody so yeah. at that point he was like all right we need to go to a new home to to feed That's so he yeah because all the other cactus were just full of dirt that was just a, so they won't search all of them i guess, I guess. yeah well the girl yeah, was in there too the she, that off. was supposed to be and his her, yeah that was supposed to be his midnight snack but they fucked that his up midnight snack until he got there yeah yeah and that they fucked that up by waking her up and 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 healing and temporarily boom. healing her basically yeah taking um, away his meal yeah so he's like well are you gonna fuck up see that's the thing right i do now they fuck around and find out they could have they could have just yep. left her alone put her ass back in the box and maybe Maybe they went and ate everybody on a boat. Just saying. Maybe. 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 Um, I don't know. I did. I like the evolution of Dracula through the whole film too, because he started out as this decrepit, fucking oh, yeah, little a thing. Big, then and you started seeing him a little more. He got more, more and muscular, more. muscular, and taller. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, by the end, he's got these yeah, big wings. fucking wings and yep. shit. And I think it's good. I, I I don't know. I I felt it was necessary. I will say this. There is a little downside to it. The okay. The CGI for Dracula, because he was absolutely CGI, uh, yeah. could have been better. I hit he look he didn't look terrible, but he didn't look terrible, but it out of, um, but it it was yeah. you, it, you, it looked like CGI. But that thing that's where they saved a lot of the money because they barely showed him. They showed shadows of his face and everything. You only got a full body shot, like literally towards the end. It was the last like thirty minutes of the movie where you started seeing him yeah. a lot. Yeah, a lot more. Full face, full body type shit, yeah. Now, which is weird, right? Because now, obviously, the effects for the ocean and all that other shit were done very well. Yeah, very well. Very well. It's just Dracula. Dracula himself, I, I it, Dracula himself looked like CGI. It wasn't horrible, but could have been better. Could have definitely oh, been better. Yeah. Oh, now, yeah. that brings me to my next topic on hand, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, do you know what the budget is? Because I do. I got the budget here. Do you know what the budget for this one was? Yeah, the budget was a whopping $45 million. Yep, $45 million fucking dollars. $5 million. You know what the box Ooh. office was. Yeah, but it was a terrible, miserable $21,800. Yep, $21.8 million. Yep, what, well, $21,008,000. Yeah. Well, yeah, it says twenty-one point eight. Um yeah. $21.8 million. Oh, so they literally flopped. It, it, it didn't, they they only way. made back like almost half of what they put in. Half and the money, yeah. it's a shame because I, I think this movie sh at least deserves oh, making its budget had, back. This movie had potential to make that and more, sure. in my opinion. I don't yeah. think it should have made less than its budget. But again, this is no. where we're at with horror no. movies, man. Like horror movies, yeah. like... Yeah, they're not doing too well. It's unfortunate. Some are, some are just not doing too well. Do you know, and everybody's losing their shit about this, and I swear I'm going to lose my shit over this, but not in a good mm -hmm. way. Did you know that there's talks that they are thinking about re uh, rema remaking the Twilight series? Oh my God! Yeah, I heard about that. I don't Please want that. that. I don't want that. No. We, we we did away with that and 20 years ago. Please do not bring that stupid yeah. shit back. Oh, don't bring it back, dude. They're, they're gonna make them prettier than ever. Spend millions of dollars on these movies, and people are gonna go watch them. Like, but they can't watch me off. a jam like, it's like that's the reason why vampire movies had such a bad taste for so long was because yeah. of Twilight and True Blood and all the well, other stupid shit. Today's Today's youth don't probably barely understand what real vampire movies look well, like. Well, see, that's the other They're thing, used, too. The reason yeah. why a lot of, and I was reading about that, besides the wokeness that was misinterpreted, okay? This is why this movie flopped, because kids, younger people, well, didn't that, want they to were go like, oh, like where, where's actual, where's Dracula? That's not Dracula. 
That was yeah. Dracula. It was he, just it was it yeah. was him in his because That's by the, the end original. of the movie by the end of the movie he was he wasn't pretty but he was more in a man form and he was walking around right. in a suit. Yeah. Yeah, that's how he, that's how Dracula does it. Exactly. That's how he developed to be human like. Exactly. And and anyone yeah, no, who but, knows anything about real vampires the less they feed the more um they 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 the downgrade. They are. They become yeah, feral. The they, they become feral yeah. and shit. Um mm -hmm. Daybreakers. Animal, you ever like. seen Daybreakers? No. Daybreakers mm -hmm. is um Oh man, I actually should get you to watch that too. Daybreakers tells the story of what if vampires took over the world, mm. and they and then like humans were just like food and shit or whatever. Yeah, like they were the yeah. animals and shit. Like that's what that movie tells the story of, and it tells it tells the story of what happens when you regress into a feral vampire as well. They tell that yeah, very you well. You become more animal like uh, and Daybreakers is a really good movie. I actually enjoyed it. I, I might I might I might get you to watch that too. Um yeah. I might have I might have two movies. I don't know. Um fuck I gotta I gotta write them oh, fuck. You haven't seen Dracula Untold or Daybreakers. I gotta I gotta remember I that. haven't seen either yeah I gotta I gotta remember that and, and hopefully um hopefully I can I can I can bring those up. Uh but regardless um the, the the budget didn't make back because people don't understand what yeah. Twilights and shit like that ruin the concept of what vampire movies are supposed to be. They yeah. can be seductive. Like if you were if you watch the original Bram Stoker's Dracula, which is a beautiful movie. Remember by the, the movie way. Uh, Vampire in Brooklyn? I think it was. Like, wasn't he pretty or whatever? Vampire in Brooklyn. Like, that's, that was Eddie Murphy. Was it? I'm getting the wrong title. Oh, like, which is don't get me wrong. That was actually good. No, went that, around no, and fucking wasn't, like it wasn't that one. Got hookers and everything. I forget the name of that movie. Fed on hookers and shit. It was a fun movie. Yeah, I, I don't. Whatever. I don't we'll know figure it out. About. Yeah, Vampire in Brooklyn. That was Eddie Murphy, and he played. That was his only horror movie that I can ever think of him actually doing. It was actually a pretty good movie. It had some comedy in there, sure. Uh, because it's Eddie Murphy. Oh, it's Eddie Murphy, yeah. But believe it or not, Eddie, he, yo, he played a pretty good fucking vampire. Vampire mm -hmm. in Brooklyn was actually a really good movie. Um, old movie, but it, it was a good movie. I remember this movie. It was like based in France, I think it was. This blonde, handsome-looking vampire went around killing hookers and shit. And I'll figure it out. I'll figure. Yeah, it you out. got to figure that one out. I'm, I'm, I don't want to know if you've seen it or not. But no, but, but people forget, like people, Twilight and 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 True Blood and all this other yeah, shit. Vampires are meant to be pretty. Normal. Then no, they can be right because, like I was saying it earlier, can be. if you were if you were to watch the original Bram Stoker's Dracula, I forget his name. Um, he's a really good actor. He plays in a lot of movies. Uh, my wife has a crush on him as well. Um, but he plays Dracula in that movie, and there's at one point he's a a, a, a very attractive, uh, alluring man. Then at one point he's this old guy that has like this titty haircut. <laughs> titty haircut? Yeah, okay. it's it's always been made fun of over the years. It's like he has this weird fucking hairdo that looks like titties on his head. And then at one another point he's a fucking monster. Because yeah. that's what it is. Vampires are supposed to be alluring until they capture you. Like yeah, vamp like think of it like an anglerfish, and... right? Like an anglerfish mm -hmm. are ugly as shit. Yeah, they, they know any fish. The yeah, they, they 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 track you with the light, and then once you're close mm -hmm. enough to get the light, then that ugly ass fish yep. gets you. Right? That's yep. kind of like the concept of what a vampire is. A vampire lures you in with its seduction and all this, and then all of a sudden, bam! It's a monster and it kills you. It eats you and yep. whatever it wants to do with you. Like that's what a vampire is. It isn't a teen angst fucking vampire in high school. Hormone driven. Hormone driven. Vampire. Depressed yeah. and emo and shit about his girlfriend. Yeah. Like yep. no, that has like Twilight. Twilight was, written, and I bet once those movies drop again, they'll make billions of dollars. Twilight, and, a, and, and I a, say and this, damn, like this one didn't even make half of what it used to make it. I say this because yeah, I know some of them. Okay, mm -hmm. Twilights were made, and then same thing with True Blood and all this other shit. Those type of things mm -hmm. were made for Lonely Housewives. Yeah. Fantasy. It's basically a fantasy for lonely yeah, housewives. They're, they're married. They're married to their husbands, and their husbands don't excite them. They're like, I wish I had a nope. vampire boyfriend. Come fuck my brains out. Oh fuck me, yes. Yep. Like I'm sorry, that's not how vampires work, bitch. Yeah, no, you might work. fuck you, but fuck then me. he's gonna kill you. They yeah, go eat you when he's done. He's gonna rip your fucking yep. throat out. It's not gonna be. And you're not gonna be like Jacob be going. Oh, I I don't want to eat you. <laughs> I I love you. Like fuck you, man. Just fuck, fuck you. Just it's fuck it and eat it. That's it. Yeah. Shit.
God damn it. Vampires don't got uh, like, vampires don't give a shit. Ruining Dude, vampires. Even Blade. Even Blade didn't give a fuck about he, he was a superhero and shit, but he didn't give a fuck about nobody. Nope. Like, god damn. Mm -mm. <laughs> All I'm saying is this was a good fresh breath. Like, this was kinda like this was definitely better. Because there was another movie that we watched, uh, we already oh, did. Oh yeah, yeah, no, this was so, definitely better. Yeah, yeah this was it definitely was a similar better. film. It was called uh, uh, Blood Vessel. Blood Vessel. Yeah, Blood yeah. Vessel. Yeah, but that um, was more of an indie. B movie. Yeah, that was an indie B movie, uh, yeah. and it, I, I think they got a lot of inspiration from. I think that they movie. did. Yeah. Yeah. This is happened to come out before for whatever reason. I guess they rushed the production sure. to get it out first, which showed. Yeah. Um, yeah. But <laughs> this was a good. I, a good monster vampire flick. Yeah. No, I agree. It, I it, really it, it didn't. It didn't cater. I... It didn't. It didn't tiptoe. Yeah. It. I mean, it, they killed the kid for fuck's sake. Yeah. Yeah. You don't not see that, right? That. Yeah. You, very, movies nowadays do not like to have kid deaths in movies. Right. And that vampire, yo, Dracula ripped his fucking throat out. Ah, yes. Like yeah. God damn. And then and then exactly. and then on top of that. On top of that, they after after Dracula rips his fucking throat out, then mm -hmm. persists to burn. Then then the child burns to death. Oh yeah, yeah. When he gets out of the yeah, bag, yeah. fucking he burns against. It the burns, fire. and the then sun, yeah. they show him sinking to the bottom of the sea, all fucking burnt to yeah. a crisp. Like so, they were yep. they were on point with that. They didn't give no fucks. They were like, "Yo, we don't yep. care if this hurts your feelings. This is a movie, <laughs> bitches." Like, so I appreciate that. I do appreciate that. Like that. Yeah. That 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 is what we need. We need we need direct. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying this director was seriously brave. There could have been a lot, a lot more. But compared to a lot of I, shit that I see, this the, is, this the is good. gore. I'll come on and say that the gore could have been better. Oh sure, absolutely, much much better. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the gore was fairly average. Fairly average. Lacking. It was gore. average. Very average. Gore. Yeah, yeah. And for a movie that this was this was yes, it should have it should have. Definitely yeah, it was aim it was aiming to be a real horror film. When you're when you and got yeah, Dracula running around fucking killing people and shit, there should be there dismemberment. Should be, which there was there was dismemberment, sure. Well, like like the one the, guy the, who the one guy who got like ripped in half on top of the sail and shit. Oh, you know? that's right. Yeah, there was like one maybe. Yeah, there was a and handful of them there. Them. Some throats yeah. that got slashed out. You know, but I was gonna say that it was mostly throat slashing and biting and yeah. ripping, but not. Not yeah. Nothing too wild. It could have, it could have been better. Yeah, exactly. it could have absolutely. I'm not saying I'm like the gore. The gore. It wasn't horrible. It it didn't make the movie bad. I sat no. through the whole thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I even I even went to go see if there was was um was post credit scenes because I, I wanted to yeah. know. Oh yeah, I um, scanned all the way yeah. across. Yep. So I mean, mm. I, I don't know. This movie had it wasn't a great movie. It wasn't like it fucking got me. But at the same time, the movie a had me from times, start to end. I. I was going to say that. I watch a movie. I normally get a snack, pause it, come back to it. No, I, I sit through the whole thing. No snack, no nothing. I, I did That's have to. I did have to do that. Um, but not because not because the movie didn't interest me. It's just because I had a lot of shit going on. Yeah. No, I, I sit through this one. Yeah. That engaging. So, I don't know. It it failed, but it didn't deserve to fall. Fell. No, and it's a goddamn shame. And this is the reason why. Yeah. This is the Cause don't get me started. We have things like, and I'm gonna watch it just because I need to know. But I don't know if you've seen what the fuck's going on with like Chucky lately and that show. Oh, that whole new show on uh, Netflix or whatever it is. God, no, I don't. I haven't watched it. It's it's on uh, Sci-Fi or some shit. Sci-Fi. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. But yeah, oh but my I heard, I heard they ruined God, that too, dude. It's like yeah. it's like super woke and shit. Woke. Stupid, and I'm like, how yeah. the fuck do you make Chucky woke? Yeah, he's on. a fucking serial. He's a serial rapist and a serial killer. <laughs> How the fuck do you make a serial rapist woke? He doesn't kill gays. Hey, ma'am. He hey, ma'am. <laughs> do, do you mind if I rip your panties off and I just throw you over this car? I, I don't. I don't want to offend you, though. I need to know. I need your permission. I, I first. just permission first. That's key. Yeah, permission ne is important. Touch without permission. Yeah. I uh, consent. Yeah. Consent goes a long way. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, gonna rip your panties, fuck? sniff your pussy, and kill you. But I yeah. need to know if. But that's I need okay. to know if it's okay. I need to know if you're alright with yep. that. <laughs> like, god damn it! But no, but that's the state. Now, mind you, I don't know. I haven't watched it. I only watched the first season of it, and I kind of had a lot of shit going on. Uh, but I mm. heard, and I've seen the trailers for it, and it's, uh, uh, the trailers, the, the trailers are kind of looking a little fucking weak. And that's a childhood 
monument, dude. That's a childhood. Like there was a trailer of I seen for an episode. Apparently, apparently Chucky can't jump bodies anymore, and apparently he gets cancer. So now you want to feel <laughs> like what you got? I gotta feel bad for Chucky now. What the fuck? Fuck. But I digress. Dang. I digress. I'm not gonna go too hard on it. My point is that's where we're at with horror, and that's the whole point of this show is to sift through that shit. And uh, I think this one, it wasn't a perfect movie. It wasn't even, I wouldn't even call it a great movie. It was a good movie. It was good. It was a good yeah, movie. I mean, there's been better, but it's just definitely no, absolutely been better. It was up there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely better movies than this, but, but this, this was a good movie. Up there. Yep. It, it definitely, it's definitely worth a watch. Hell, I'd even say it's worth a rent. Oh, it is. That's what we did. I don't know it, if it, I'd it, purchase it. it. I don't know if I'd buy it. Nah, nah, there's no point of collecting this, no. but I mean. To but, watch it, but watch it, yeah, yeah. no, absolutely. Yeah. Like, I don't think it's going to go down as one of like the all memorable classic fucking horror movies or anything like that. But I'm great. I'm glad that it exists. As it was a yeah, good film, yeah. especially when yeah. we got like so many shitty ones. Uh, this was, you know, this, well, yeah, it's since <laughs> since the whole Christmas holiday, we've been doing some real shit balls. Yeah, so this no, is, this uh, season, this season's yeah, been. It's been balls, but. I don't know. I don't know which one had more more success. Like I don't know if season one had more stinkers than season two. Mind you, we're not we're not uh, fully I done will, yet. But me per me personally, uh, Christmas season one was better. But that's me. <laughs> well, sure, because at least we got fucking. Uh, even though it was a shitty movie, at least we got uh, yeah. Santa slays. Exactly. This at one. This was like oh, whatever. fuck. Whatever. Like both of them were just uh, complete fucking dog shit. But when it comes down to the seasons, no, this season has been jam packed with great movies. I think. Better yeah, movies but, than last but, year. but ah, I don't go that far. Well, except the terrifiers. I was gonna say, man, the terrifiers. Except the terrifiers. That man. that's kind of where I'm at with that one, dude. At least we had but terrifiers season one. Terrifiers are at a level that I don't think is ever going to be touched. I would love to have a terrifier <laughs> level. I don't. I, I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna have one this season. I, I, I don't know. I don't know because that bar is so high. That's what it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, but regardless, no, I don't no, know. We'll see. But with that said, you know what time it is, right? Yeah, boy. It's time to rate and bake, I think. Weed. Rate, uh, and, no, what do you rate bake? and bake? Yeah, rate. Uh, no, that was stupid. Never mind. Erase. <laughs> Go back. Maybe, maybe, maybe if you would have said bacon rate. <laughs> or well, bacon rape. What? Rate. You oh, sick rate. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. He's like, what did you say? Oh, where? Where is this happening? Like, you fucking son of a where bitch. Do I where do I sign up for that? Um, no, it's like you, you, if you would have said, if you would have said rate, uh, uh, bake and rate, bake then and maybe, rate. maybe I would have been like, okay, that's fine. But you, you went rate and bake. It, okay. <laughs> that's more of the logical because I mean, if you get baked, you're not going to do a good, you're not going to do a good rating. You're not, yeah, you'll be high as balls. You're gonna sit there yeah. and be like, oh, "I want to give it a f uh, four, maybe." That's what you do when they get baked as hell. I, oh no, I couldn't do it. On <laughs> I couldn't do it. The show would fall apart. The whole fucking <laughs> sure show would fall would. apart. The, go, the sure show, would. the show would go on for three hours, and it would just be us be going. <laughs> it'd, be full, it'd be full of bloopers and yeah. senselessness. This would be yeah. a fucking. It would be a whole wreck. Yep. But it is that time where we give our ratings. Uh, as we, we do, do here, we have our four rating systems that we do. We have our ratings on story, action, gore, and production. We give that a one through five uh, in-betweens if necessary. So that's a 1.5, 2.5, so forth and so on. If it's below mm -hmm. a one, we give it a noble pile. If it's above a five, we get the noble seal of approval. After that, we give our woke score, higher the number, which goes up to 10. The worse and more egregious the wokeness was. And then, oh, then we give our overall score, which is 1 through 10. The Noble Pile and Noble Seal are still in effect. So is the half scores. But with that said, I'm going to turn it over as tradition dictates. We're going to turn it over to VC Lauren. What do you give the story? What do you give the score for the story? I thought the story was okay. I mean, I never read the book, but I thought it was a good story. I, I gave it a 4.5. Okay, fair enough. It like, was a good. I mean, directly didn't do nothing too different. It's like chase and kill, but it was good. It wasn't. It wasn't a deep Dracula story. Like no, no. I, no. Actually, I think even though people dog this movie, I think Dracula Untold was a better 
Dracula movie. Better this was story. a good. Mm -hmm. This was a good monster flick, mm -hmm. and it just so happened to be about Dracula. That's yeah. So I gave it a and four. it was wrapped around a nice fucking boat scene sure. and everything. It was it was fun. It was I fun. Gave, I gave it a four. I gave it a four. Okay. So Yeah. But is it fair? I have a four and a four point five. I think that's fair enough. I'm not, I'm not even gonna argue yeah. about it. I it didn't blow me away, but it was definitely enjoyable. No, no. And it, it didn't piss me off either. Like I wasn't I wasn't yeah. watching it. And I've been dude, I've been tired of shit all day. I'm gonna tell you right now. And I didn't fall asleep in the movie. Yeah. I could have. I probably should have. But I didn't. So no. fair enough. Movie guy, I give it a four. Uh, definitely a passable film. Uh, now, moving on to the next one. What do you give the score for acting? Um, I, I had no problem. Half these actors I knew nothing about, but yet they still did pretty good. I It was it was a little bit above average acting. I gave it a 3.5. Okay. It, was, it didn't blow me away. It wasn't like, you know, Jesus Christ, it's the best acting I've ever seen, but it was good. 3.5. See, it's funny, right? Because I have the I, don't know, I have the cast here. I'll get to it real quick. Um, there it is. Even the kid actor wasn't bad. It was his name. Liam Liam Cunningham. Okay? That was the mm -hmm. captain. He is the only one out of the entire cast that I recognize. Not mm -hmm. I'm not saying any of these um, actors and actresses are, 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 aren't, aren't good. I don't know right. them. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think I might know uh, Corey Hawkins. He's the one who's basically the the, the, the lead in this whole movie. Um, he was the doctor. Okay. The uh, doctor. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think I, his face looks familiar. I might have seen him in something else. I want to say I know him yeah. from something, but I'm not 100% yeah. sure. But Liam, uh, Liam uh, Cunningham, I do know. He is the one who played the captain. He's the one who's been in Lord of the uh, Lord, Lord of the Rings. Uh, uh, da, 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 wow! Da, 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 da. Uh, wow! Um, oh my god! <laughs> I'm um, fucking fucking fuck. Oh my oh, god! Dragon series. What do you call that fucking uh, dragon series? Um. Oh my god! Hold on! Uh, 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 Game of Thrones. I don't know why. I, fucking, Game of Thrones. I don't know why that was so fucking hard. Like I, I love that series. Fart. Like that uh, was a fart. pure. Like my brain just fucking shit out the, that, that information. Like it I oozed out right out the ear. Yep. Um, but yeah, he, he's a, I've seen him in a, a number of other things since then, and I've always mm -hmm. enjoyed him. He's a good actor. He's the only actor out of this whole movie that I really recognize, but everybody else yeah. did a good job. Even the kid actor. I thought so. Yeah. Like I, I, I didn't hate the kid actor, which is always 50, 50. Actually, I won't even yeah. go 50, 50. It's usually like seven thirty. Seventy 70% of it the is. time I hate kid actors. 30% of the time I like them. And this one was good. I I, he wasn't great, but, but he was all right. Yeah. So yeah, no, I. And your score was? My score for the acting was uh, a four. So a four. Okay. I gave it a four. Yeah. So you yeah, gave it a three point five. I gave it a four. Not yep. bad. Okay. Yeah. Going into the gore score, what do you give the gore score? Well, like I mentioned earlier, I wasn't too impressed with the gore. Um, wanted more, but it wasn't. It wasn't bad. It's, it's, it didn't ruin the movie. I gave it a three point five. Okay. Fair enough. I gave it a yeah. three. A little bit above average, but it wasn't, you know. Yeah, you know, I, I gave it a three. It was it was above average, absolutely, like you said. Yeah. It wasn't anything. I wasn't blown away with it. I wasn't like, no, oh, my I, God. Some of the brave shit, have, showing the kid mm -hmm. burn, that was brave. Yeah. Showing the kid yeah. get his neck ripped out, that was brave. So yeah. I'll give it that. You know, the, the, those little gore moments were were appreciated. They weren't fantastic. Mm -hmm. They weren't they weren't mind-blowing. But I'll say that they were brave, and I, I appreciate them. So that's why I give it a three. Yeah, they weren't terrified quality. No, no, there's not, not, many, sure. not many things can be though. <laughs> yep. Like I, I, I don't even want to use that as an example. Like that's right. just not fair. Um, I, don't I don't think Dracula was going to flip that chicken, uh, you know, around and start cutting her down from the pussy. That would have been awesome. Now, now, you know? if he would have, like, imagine this real quick: flips mm -hmm. her upside down, holds her upside down. <laughs> <laughs> hand, each hand has an ankle, right? And he's holding her up <laughs> and then just starts chomping, just nom, 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 nom. Just like that, straight that down. That, that would have been, that would have been like, yep. you know what? There's our terrifier yep. level fucking movie right yep. there. Yeah, terrifier, I'm sorry. That would have been like the best scene. Yeah. Yep. That would have been yep. a that would have been the best scene right there. But uh, but again, you know, unfortunately there is only one director can, that's ballsy we, enough to do shit like that. We we can only dream. So. Yeah. Like I would actually, I'd, I would have laughed a little. That would have been funny uh, and, and awesome dude. at the same time. Hilarious, hilarious and awesome. Yep. 
And I will say, I, I will say, this movie did have a one-liner that I appreciated when the one guy, um, when the one guy was like, "I'm not you, 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 you don't." I'm not afraid of you. You're, you're, you don't fear. I don't fear you and shit. And then all of a sudden yeah. he speaks English and he's like, you, you will. will. Yeah. I was like, yeah. okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. He all talks. Yeah. I was like, okay, he's got some shit going on. All right. We're, that's yep. where we're going. Cool. Yeah. Um, so I give it that, but yeah, no, I gave uh, for the Gore score. I gave it a three. And you know, that's, it's funny you mentioned that because I think that's what a lot of these movies need. It's a little more bad guy talk. They could have made him talk. I don't know why they didn't. Uh, I don't know. I mean, no, if they would have been, been if the, if the, I'm not saying it wouldn't have been good, but I'm saying, yeah, I don't know if it would have made the movie better or worse. Like, that I, I, I don't know. You're yeah, right. I don't, I don't know if it would have worked. I don't, I don't know yeah. if it was necessary. Like, like if, if yeah. it would, if it would have actually been essential to it. That's my thing. I'm not saying know, they couldn't have added like, it, but I just don't. I don't know if it would have made the movie. I just wanted to hear him say the word "cunt." Come here, cunt. Eh, see, that's the thing. I, I, you, you don't want anybody. You don't want Dracula doing that shit. Dracula is a very sophisticated <laughs> killer. <laughs> he has brains. He does. He's, he's not very, down for that. Nah, yeah, he's, he, he's very sophisticated and shit. <laughs> He'll kill you, but he yeah. does it in a very sophisticated manner. Yes. yes. Let's move on to our last one, production. What do you give the score of the production? Number five. I, I really enjoyed it. I'm not going to give oh, wow. it a seal because it doesn't deserve that. But I thought production was neat looking. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. Okay, fair enough. Every, every scene was well crafted, I think. I couldn't give it a five. And there, okay. I, I said this earlier in the film. Uh, I, I said this earlier in the episode was I think they could have done Dracula a little better. A little better. Like, mm -hmm. it was definitely, like, you could, it was immersive breaking because he, he, he felt like CGI. It wasn't yeah. horrible CGI, but it wasn't great CGI either. Mm -hmm. Like when, when, whenever he would be over them, it's just like, you were like, ah, yeah, that's CGI. Yeah. Like, I, I don't mean, know. He didn't look special. You know, he looked just a very generic Dracula. Generic. Yeah. The whole bat but, thing. Um, it was a very generic looking yeah. Dracula too. Um, so yeah. it wasn't, wasn't, but, but all in all, as I still I still believe it, it deserves a four point five. It wasn't. It, I can't give it a five. Okay, yeah, I can't give it a five because of that. It. I almost would have if, if if Dracula would have been more realistic. Um, yeah, I would have probably given it a five. But I don't know. I don't know why they couldn't use a man. You know, a man with, with makeup and everything. I probably would have worked better. Yeah, you know good. what? They could have because in every other case, ninety nine percent of the time, Dracula is always a real person. Right. Uh, hell, even that shitty one that we watched, the whole blood vessel one, that was still no, a real that person. Was a man under a mask yeah. makeup thing, yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. And they had yeah, they had whatever. the budget. They had the budget to hire somebody and give some really good effects on them, right? No, but, what is well, what is more expensive, to hire a person in makeup or CGI? I always thought CGI oh, well, would I guess be more expensive. It, I, uh, I guess it depends on the actor. I guess it differs, yeah. Because I mean, if you hire if you hired Keanu Reeves to be Dracula, it's probably going to be more expensive well, to yeah, fucking well, just have a name. That. Yeah. Cost you, yeah. But then yeah. again, you still want a good actor too, right? So it's like it's a it's a you really know, yeah. rough one. Do you, do you yeah. do you take the risk of having a shitty actor that doesn't cost too much, or do you just CGI the shit? Right? It's it's always a 50-50. Yeah. But yeah, my 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 production, I gave a four point five. Um, you gave it a five. So I all around yeah. not not bad. Um, not bad. So now moving onwards. Your woke score. What do you give the woke score of the last voyage of the Demeter? Honestly, honestly, I kept it at a one. That's why we even talked about it before the show a little bit because I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything. But it really didn't bother me. It moved. It didn't for bother me. me at all. Okay. I gave it a two. Okay. I did give it a two. Uh, it wasn't anything crazy. It was enough to move the needle. But the only it, thing that I noticed was just a little bit badassness towards. The, the female, you know, and that, and that really, I there mean, was it wasn't that, a hint, so. there was there was a little other things that they were just sprinkled in there. There were little hints. Um, it wasn't anything, but it, but you knew it was there. It was right. there. Unfortunately, people blew it out of proportion. Yeah, I think so. They definitely the blew. Yeah, they, they, that, they yeah, yeah. The, the people did blow that way out of proportion. There was sprinkles of wokeness. Sure, I'm not going to say I there was wasn't a any. point where they brought back the feel of him being, you know, suppressed because of his color. So. Yeah, but, but I mean, I but I, that, that's that's uh, eighteen ninety seven or yeah, whatever it was. That I mean, was re reality at that yeah, time. Yeah, it was yeah. reality. So I'm not even mad about that. Right now, so, and and that's and that's what happened with me. Like I couldn't really 
pinpoint wokeness. The chick becoming a badass at the end after she was like a weakling and a, and a slave and uh, basically a sex mm-hmm. slave and all this other shit. And all of a sudden she knows how to fire rifles. She was basically a sacrifice from her village, but yet for some reason mm-hmm. she knows how to fire fucking weapons and kick ass and all this other shit. And uh, all that stuff. That was there. But you know what? Again, it wasn't so bad like some other movies. Mild. Yeah, it was. It yeah. was done in a mild way. It was there, but it wasn't horrible. So, like I yeah. said, I give it a two. It was. It was no. It, it did move the needle, but it didn't hurt the movie to point where I didn't want to watch no. it. Anymore. No. So, with that said, now we go over to the final overall score. Overall. What do you give the overall score of the la- the last voyage of the Demeter? I gave it a seven point five. No shit. I enjoyed the. I enjoyed the movie. I thought the movie was well done. Uh, Wokeness was very minuscule for me. Um, production was beautiful. I thought that's why I gave it a five. I enjoyed it from A to Z. I enjoyed the whole damn thing. Fair 7. enough. Seven point five. I yeah. actually also gave it a seven point five. Yeah. So 7.5. there you go, guys. Seven point five. The last voyage of the Demeter. A seven point five above average. Definitely give it a rent. Um, it's in our it's in our recommendations list. I would say give it a watch. Absolutely. If yep. you can stream it, stream it. Absolutely. But if not, and you're really curious about it, I, I a five dollar fucking rental, don't mm-hmm. see a problem. Not bad at all. No. Nope. Definitely nope. worth the rental. Definitely worth the rental. Not bad at all. It, it, it's def- if you if you're a horror fan, it's not bad having a having it uh, experienced to sit through. Yeah. There's far worse yeah. movies that you've probably already sat through. Yeah. Just. We've done a couple of them. Oh, too, we will. So, yeah. We've done plenty of them, motherfuckers. So. <laughs> so, exactly. So, yeah, no, this one comes out on top. Absolutely. So, yeah. With that said, guys, we are going to get the hell out of here on this Friday. Okay, this yes, beautiful Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Make sure really you get good. over to noblegi.com. You see it on screen. Bam, bam, right there, I mean. You see it there, n o b u l l g i dot com. That for the for our listeners. Make sure to get over mm-hmm. there and uh, get yourself some merch. We got a whole bunch of merch. Yeah, we got buddy. new merch coming. Now. We got all kinds of shit going. Make sure to check out or our out. schedule. Oh yeah. Hey, yeah, listen. I'm a threat, people. We know. I'm a threat, right? people. We, we know. Get it done. Uh, we know you got the money. Get it done. You better send us a picture of it, especially if you <laughs> bought it. the panties. Um, oh yeah. Please do. I need to release more of those because you know Please so do. many people buy them. I need to release more. For a minute after you said that you need to relieve yourself for. I was like, oh, yeah. Well, I've if got someone to, sends me a picture with for. them on, you know, uh, <laughs> may just have to. May just have to. Uh, <laughs> but regardless, like, if you buy merch, send us for real, for real, send us pics. We will put your pictures with you and oh, your absolutely. merch up on the website in our gallery yes. page. Yes. That yes. hasn't been yes. released yet, but we and will be doing it. And if it's a juicy, that. juicy, good looking one, we'll put on the show. Why not? Put it right on the corner. Within, Here you go. within reason. No titties. No, 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 or no ass. nudity. Um, or ass. You can send or... it to us, as long as yeah, you're, as yeah, long as you're legal. We're not, saying, we're not saying not to send it. Yeah, you can well, send it, right, please. But, um, but, 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 but if you, if you, you send, it, if it's full skin, we, you know, we, we can't, we can't show anybody else, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, make sure to get over there, noblegi.com. Get yourself some merch. Check out our full schedule of all things past, present, and future. Same thing with the catalog of all our episodes of everything that we do. This year, we will also hopefully have some unique content being released on the, on the thing. Uh, I, I am in talks with some people, and I have some ideas for some stuff that will be exclusive to Noble GI. So make sure, like I said, get over there, noblegi.com. Check it out. Um, everything's there. Everything you need to know. Um, yep. This is our Friday, so make sure to check out Sundays, 6.55, 7 o'clock p.m. EST for Game Nights with yours truly. And then, of course, we have Wednesdays. Nope. Yeah, we have Wednesdays. My bad. Wednesdays, yeah, uh, yeah. Wednesday, we have The Quest, 12 quest, p.m. Yeah. EST. That is me and VC Lauren, where we do spoiler-free, straight-to-the-point, short review discussions uh, we, we, of movies. Okay? Any kind of movie. Okay? Any kind of movie. Yeah. Uh, so make sure to check yep. that out. Every Thursday, we have Attacking the Topic. 755, 8 p.m. EST. All no That's topic is show. yep, that is yep. live. No topic is safe. Okay. Uh, and we have plenty of that shit going on. And then of course, every Friday until the 30th episode, we will be here with Grim Tales of the Podcast Season 2, 12 p.m. EST. Make sure to check all that shit out, guys. All that and more can be found once more on the website, noblegi.com. With that said, we hope you enjoy your weekend. 
Uh, and uh, we're going to go do the same and then get the fuck out of here. That's it. Peace out, guys. Peace out, guys. And we will see you when we see you. Peace.